Hello everybody and welcome to this macroeconomic video on gross domestic product or GDP. So what is GDP? Well GDP measures the output of an economy so it measures how much an economy produces and therefore we can use it to measure economic growth. So if GDP increases that means the output of an economy increases, it's producing more. So therefore economic growth has occurred because economic growth is an increase in the productivity of an economy when an economy produces more. And GDP can measure two types of output. We can have national GDP, which measures the output of the whole economy, or GDP per capita or per person. So this measures the output per individual of the population. We also have gross national product, and gross national product measures the output of a country minus all the foreign businesses with bases in that country. Now, we use GDP to measure economic growth, like I've explained, because GDP measures output and economic growth is an increase in output. But GDP is mainly used to keep score between countries. The higher GDP you have, the more almost respected you are economically. And governments attempt to keep GDP positive, because if GDP is positive, if GDP is increasing, this means the output is increasing, so therefore the economy is growing, and that's what governments want. And they also try to keep it stable as well, because if GDP is increasing at an incredibly ra rapid rate, it is likely this is unsustainable and will eventually crash, so there is economic decline. So governments try to keep GDP positive, so there's economic growth, and stable, so it can be controlled. And finally, onto our bubble right at the bottom here, a high GDP, so a high output, a high economic growth, does not necessarily mean there is a high standard of living and quality of life in that country. So for example, just because a country is producing lots and lots and lots, that doesn't mean that everybody has a good quality of life. China has an incredibly high GDP because it produces a lot and, it has, and it is, its economy is growing at an incredibly high rate. But still in China, 400 million people will live below the poverty line and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands and millions of people live on less than $2 a day and don't have enough proper food to eat. So therefore, a high GDP does not necessarily mean that there is a high standard of living and quality of life in that country. 